Hello, long time no video. I'm bringing you a speed paint today of a friend's OC that he commissioned me to draw. Um, his name is Haruki, I believe, but um, my friend told me I can't say his name because it'll further corrupt it. Anyway, he's got some really cool characters with some really cool ideas, and I am honored that he asked me to do this commission for him. So as you can see, I started with a pencil sketch because I am much faster at drawing um, traditionally. And then I transferred the sketch onto Paint Tool Sai, and I'm doing the line work and the coloring digitally. And um, this took me maybe three to four hours to do. Um, anyway, I'm gonna talk about like art, Artist Alley, what's happening this summer with me. Um, so my next con that I'll be doing is SFU Summerfest, as some of you might know. Um, I'll be at table H10. I'm gonna leave all the info about SFU Summerfest down below along with my other convention that I'm doing um, called Anime Evolution. That is July 27th and 28th at Nikkei Cultural Center in Burnaby. And then SFU Summerfest is July 13th at SFU Burnaby. <laughs> um, if you guys can make it out there, I would love to see you. Um, and I'm hoping to, you know, meet some people who appreciate my art and also meet some really cool artists, cosplayers, other people in the anime otaku community here in Greater Vancouver. Um, so at SFU Summerfest, I'm planning to do something new because I just bought my own button machine. If you haven't seen it yet, I will have a link in the iCards of me pressing my first buttons uh, on my own for the very first time <laughs> because I used to do the art and then send the art files to Six Cent Press to press them for me. But now I have so much more independence regarding my inventory. Um, and apart from that independence, I can also do button commissions. So I'm planning to just draw traditionally on the spot with like um, line art and then some accent colors and just do a cute little chibi bust commission on a 1.25 inch button that you can pick up right at the con um, if you choose to do so. I'm planning to sell them for $5 a piece and I'm hoping it'll do well. And this idea is not my original idea. <laughs> I actually went to Mini Kami um, a little while ago, which is another like artist market in the greater Vancouver area. And I commission this girl. I don't, I should have gotten her business card or something because I don't remember the artist's name, but I commissioned her to do two buttons for me just right there at the con, like just traditionally with pen and a few accent colors. And I thought they were really cool and I liked the idea. And because I have my own button machine, I thought, why not give it a try myself? So um, I'm hoping that'll do well. I think it will. I feel like I'm so much faster at drawing chippies than like full bodied anime proportion styled people. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can save some time, but also like get to make some cute artwork for people that way. Um, I will be at table H10 at Summerfest. If you are there, please say hi. I would love to meet you and see you. And <laughs> this is so funny. When I was at Mini Kami that day, um, I actually got recognized by not one, but two people that watch my YouTube. My channel is ridiculously small. Like it is a little baby channel. But I had one artist, she goes by Pernest, I believe. I hope I'm not butchering her name. I'm gonna leave her Instagram handle down below, but she's the sweetest. She's like, oh, I watched your Artist Alley prep vlog. And she even made an Instagram post saying that it was the highlight of her day to meet a YouTuber. I don't think I'm a real YouTuber, guys. I'm just some girl who posts videos on the internet because I enjoy doing so. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't know, James Charles or PewDiePie or something crazy like that, but I'm flattered and thank you Perness for making my day. If I made yours then awesome, but I, I was honestly really flattered and I think she'll also be at SFU Summerfest. So if you see her there, check her out. She's got a lot of cute like cat-esque products. She's got cat stickers, cat prints, that kind of thing. Shout out to you Perness. And then the other girl, I don't remember her name, but uh, she had a lot of cute ruby prints, and I don't know if she's going to be SFU Summerfest, but thank you, both of you, <laughs> for recognizing me and feeling, making me feel like a little bit validated, you know? Some new ideas that I have for drawing, other than just making buttons and prints now, is I was wondering if I should do like outfit of the day 
um, pieces and then assemble them all into like a little zine type deal and sell those at Artist Alley. I've also been toying with the idea of making like four panel comics like Sarah's comics or like there's one that's like with these aliens that say everything very literally and it's very funny. I don't know, I've been following a lot of um, Instagrammers <laughs> that do those four panel comics and I feel inspired to kind of try and do my own. So we'll see. Um, oh, I recently made an Instagram just for my art content. So it used to be at Vanini Bean, which is like, I used to just post everything on there. But now because I just, I kind of want to separate my personal life, like here's a picture of nachos. Um, like people that follow my art don't always want to see like my personal life, like what I'm eating <laughs> or what's going on. They just want to see the art. So if you want to follow at Melody in the Air, I'll also put everything down below. You're probably tired of hearing me say that, but I'll put it there. <laughs> if you want to check it out or and uh, follow me there on Instagram, I will have lots of art coming that way. I feel pretty inspired recently to do more art. Um, recently, I also went on a like sketchbook buying splurge. You ever just like want to buy a bunch of stationery and or art supplies? Like you just you just want to do that. <laughs> so I went to Walmart and I bought oh, okay my mini Canson sketchbook I bought off Amazon but then I bought um, two other sketchbooks one large drawing pad. It's like nine by twelve it's huge or something. Maybe it's bigger than that. And then also a watercolor Canson pad. Um, Canson is just such a good price for what you get I feel there are definitely like higher quality art pads and stuff out there but honestly these ones do just fine for me <laughs> and I also want to buy new watercolors because as some of you may know my current watercolors are literally from when I was in kindergarten <laughs> so maybe it's time for me to upgrade um, I was thinking of buying the Kuretake Gansai Tambi set. They sell it on Amazon. It's like around $40 Canadian. Um, and Gansai Tambi is not like traditional watercolor in that it's more opaque than traditional watercolor. But I think that might work out well for me because I really like to um, start with the strong color and then use the water to fade it out. Maybe one day I'll do a speed paint of me painting traditionally so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Oh, and I do have a couple traditional watercolor paintings that I plan to sell at my artist alleys next, so hopefully they'll do okay. If not, like, it is hard to part with original work I find sometimes because, like, there's only one of them and even if you take a photo, or scan it into your computer or something. It's not really the same in my opinion. <laughs> but um, yes, I will be doing commissions at my events, but I feel like I'm more comfortable doing the commissions because my boyfriend will be there with me. Like he's good for bathroom breaks. He's gonna help me set up. He's gonna help me press my buttons if I run out. And like, I feel like he can still like give customers attention if I'm looking down at my sketchbook or doing whatever like that um anyway i can't believe i've talked for almost nine minutes now <laughs> but here i am just finishing up um, the characters highlighting a bit of the shading um, i did forget to record some of the shading in the end so i'll just show you like a full picture of what it looks like but if you want a clearer image um, i do have a photo of him on instagram as at melody in the air thank you so much you guys for watching um I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more art content. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm so annoying. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.